grotesquely tall were discriminated. One man, through trial and tribulation, would find his way against all the opposition. When all seemed lost, he was found. A journalist, like a spark of light in the darkness. A piece of driftwood in a vast ocean. A fire extinguisher within a fire. A bulletproof vest before a gun. One man, one life. The tale of the seven foot tall, roughly. UCSD student. The capture, the explanation, and the reason. down the stairs, just to my ankle. It was dark. I didn't know it was you. You didn't know it was me. You turned around and kicked me. Look at this. Look at this. It wasn't like this before. Look at this. You give me a tumor in my leg. This is pretty bad. I think you should get it checked out. Check it out? Are you, are you going to pay for the hospital bills? I think I should go now. <laughs> Office of Adventist Comedy. No time for TV. No! It's not my fault you're fat. You big fat bastard. in the afternoon. Get out of here. Wait. What? I have a proposition for you. Does your proposition include money? I only like money. That's the only thing that I hear. Money. Money? Not only do I get money, I get fame. And money. Money, you said? I'm talking my language now. Come in. Come in. Close the door. Have a seat. Hey! Don't touch the shoe. The shoe needs somewhere to sit. If you take the shoe, where is it going to sit? Huh? The floor? The floor is dirty. I said sit. Hey! That's not my chair. If you were to take that chair and someone found out, I could get fired. Would you like me to get fired? No. Have a seat. See? The floor is carpeted. It's nice and soft. Yeah. What the hell is it that you want? Have you heard of the seven foot tall student of UCSD? Seven foot tall student. At UCSD? At UCSD. My dear boy, I have not. There's six colleges here. You know, it would help me a lot if you just, if you would just narrow it down, huh? Narrow it down for me. 
You have to learn the tricks of the trade. I can't, I can't just do this stuff and not know anything about this man. Tell me more about him. Alright, I saw him at Sixth College last. Sixth College? Last? That was the last place you saw him? Yeah. In Sixth College? What other distinguishing features does this boy have? Huh? He's seven foot tall. How about the eye color, the hair color? Is his hair black? Is his, are his eyes brown? Yes, exactly. See, my dear boy, you're beginning to understand. This is what you need to know. Hair black, eyes brown. How many people fit this description at UCSD? Almost none. I will help you in your venture, but I want money. How much do you have to give me? I need a down payment! I, I charge interest! I snap! Um, I have five dollars with me right now. Five dollars. It'll have to do. I charge interest. One percent APR. I don't think that has to do anything with interest. But one percent. Mark my words, damn it. Mark my damn words. Five dollars. Go retrieve your five dollars. I will start the documentary. I will look for that man for you. But five dollars. Five dollars will be. Slide it under my door. Oh. Slide it under my door. <sighs> I trust that boy. I knew he was good for it. They're all good for it. UCSD students. Yes, the camera is on me. I'm aware of your presence. And since I was paid, which I was owed, I will help you. I will help you. Formally. Let's do these things formal now. Proper. My name is Colin Ng, doctor by profession. I am the lead journalist at UCSD. Yes, journalists can have a doctorate. Um, I'm about to help a UCSD student on a venture to look for a seven foot tall man who I claimed that I didn't know about, but I actually did. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start looking tonight. I will find that, that thing, that beast, that wretch, that creature. Sure, he's a person, genetically. But what normal person is seven feet tall? Answer me that one. None. I'm gonna put on my shoes. This one is well rested. Oh! Oh my goodness! That damned UCSD student. Put my shoe on the floor. I swear this one was on a chair, too. I will depart. I will be on my way. Cameraman, follow me in my adventure. I said, follow me. Come close here. Come close. Come close. Come on. Hey! Not that close. Use the zoom feature. Don't actually hit me with the camera. Come on, outside, outside.
see you. Three weeks I've been out here. Three weeks I've been in the bush. Yeah, okay, I know it's the rest hall quad, but three weeks. That's it's without shelter. Minimal water, minimal food. I think I I've narrowed it down. Out of the res hall quads, I'm pretty sure about 99.356% sure that he's in res hall 707. I saw him walk towards the shower about 10, 15 minutes ago. He should be coming out anytime soon. Get down, you fool. You have to, you have to stay low. Ouch. This is the only way to stay undetected, minus the loud noises. <laughs> I've never seen anything from down here. Get up, you idiot. Be watchful, though. He'll cross right there. He'll cross right there. <laughs> <laughs>